Good morning. How are G'day. you? Guys? G'day. <laughs> A ragtag band of <laughs> live streamers here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were struggling this morning, weren't we, guys? <laughs> yeah, but the show I must go on. <laughs> like between Scotty not feeling one hundred percent, Andrew's tech yeah. barely functional. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I had to <laughs> route it through the TARDIS to get it to work. You see, <laughs> <laughs> you needed to plug it into the the console. Yeah. <laughs> technology eh? it's a, it's a funny funny thing our bodies it's everything kind of doesn't want to work no <laughs> it's it's a shocker thing but i appreciate it guys battling through oh, getting on well, yeah it's all good mate like i said the show must go on so um we'll battle through and we'll have a we'll have a fun you know hour and a half or so yeah we will thanks scotty all right we'll, we'll just say hi to gaps in early thank you mr gap and then scott here too <laughs> Uh, just go through. Yeah, thank you very much. Hit the like button. Thanks, Gap. Yeah. Uh, get Adam from Go Figure. G'day, Adam. Hey, Adam. G'day, Adam. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Let's uh, keep going down here. People saying saying hello to Adam. Ooh. There's Jules. G'day, Jules. Thanks for hey, joining Jules. us. We've got about uh, 10, 15 before Jen joins us. She... Um, she might come in early. You never know. Um, there's Gap. We've got Phil. Oh, there you go, Phil. Phil. G'day, Phil. Good morning, Thank mate. Good morning, Phil. Uh, do, 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 do. I think that's all. That's all that said hello. There's a few others in there, but they've been a bit quiet, I think. No worries. <laughs> that's all good. Saying hello. That's all right. Enjoy enjoy the watch, everyone. Oh, well, Jen, how are you guys going? You, you've been all right? Yeah, I mean... um. I'll, I'll spare me. you guys. I'll spare you guys the uh, the details, but um, I'm I've been stricken down with a stomach bug, so um, I uh, I yeah, I I've, I've been struggling a bit, but I'm going to try to power through. But aside from that, I'm having a I'm having a pretty good weekend. Um, like I, I shared on the on the on the inst on the Instagram chat yesterday, I uh, I I got up early and I thought I'd check out the local collectors markets here in Roselle where I live, and uh, yep. lo and behold, for the first time in at least probably a year i found some old toys and stuff at the at the markets and oh. uh, you know, i found some original like 1988 tmnt figures and i thought you know what yep. i've got them all and they're all incomplete and they all needed a good clean but i thought you know what if i can get these for a f five bucks a piece i'm gonna grab yep. them just because it's a novelty to find this stuff you know out at the market yes. and uh i mean the guy wanted 30 bucks a figure i mean he, he you know, it's 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 just the way it is. Sometimes this seller had obviously thought, well, they're they're from the eighties; they must be worth a lot. So I didn't end up getting them, but I did I get. Do. I, I did pick up um uh, the you know the TMNT nineteen eighty seven Pizza Power board game, and uh, I got it for fifteen bucks, which is you know it's a it's a cheap price. But I was just so excited to find some old toys in the wild that it wasn't until I got back to my car that I realised it didn't have the game board. So. Um, <laughs> So, but aside from that, everything was there. So it was a little bit of a bust, but it's it, it's still a novelty, you know, in 2024 for me to find actually something. find this to find this stuff at the markets. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we starting to get rarer, and that's for sure. Yeah, yeah it's just that's it's just fun. It's fun to see, and like I said, you know, sometimes when you see this stuff where you don't expect it, you let your excitement get the better of you a little bit. And, and I suppose, I suppose with the with the toy fair coming up next Sunday, which I'm really looking forward to, um, it's a it's a lesson. You know, heading into that, that like just check things before you get too. Ooh, quickly, yeah. I'm always the same. You get it, start to get excited, and then you go, you start looking at eBay and things like that, and going, "Hang on, calm down." Yeah. <laughs> toy show's coming up. Show, <laughs> Think yeah. up buy something you might get cheaper at the toy show. <laughs> exactly. One week, one week. It's all we've got to wait for the commencement. Yeah. Like, I think Melbourne's already well into. It. They've had two or three already, and yeah. Watch UK guys, they're all and so and uh, of course, the late state. start for us as far as toy fairs, but anyway, we'll make we'll make up for it next Sunday. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, yeah, yeah. Well, Jen is in the green room, she's just looks like she's ducked away. But Andrew, if you want to prepare yourself, oh, I, I can when I see her, when I see her come back, she uh, she's obviously just stepped away, but um, and then you can ask her why, <laughs> why I've got this hat on. Uh, g'day, Brooks Collectibles. 
Justin <laughs> Khan. Hey, Brooks. And I think he's BOE here. Did I just see? But he's saying hello to BOE. I can't see him in, on here. But hello, BOE, if you're here. All right. Let's bring her on. Hello, Jen. How are you? Well, hello, guys. How are you? G'day. It's so nice <laughs> to see you all. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. And it just works uh, this time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, and it's so funny. I um, My iPad died uh, yeah. on Monday. And I'm like... No, <laughs> we can't do this again. So I had to go get a new one. But um, but then nothing, I couldn't get any. All good. We're here. I made it. I did it. Yes. I did it. Not my husband. <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's even more impressive. Yeah, yeah, that made me very to... proud of myself. <laughs> you must be getting used to these, are you? These type of uh, talks online? Well, you know, I only, I've really only done... Um, year podcast i did one other one a little while ago but i yep. don't really do too many anymore i oh. just kind of just i would rather do it with people i know and and oh, okay. i'm more comfortable i i it just it's more fun to me if i at least know you <laughs> <laughs> but we have a rapport <laughs> yes <laughs> andrew why are you wearing a hat well well i thought you're doing the same how i watched silent night Bloody night two last night. <laughs> oh my god! There's a two. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh lord! I played this crazy lady, and it was literally like I—I I was like, wait, I have like two hours to do this. Okay, and so is it that, was really fun. Is that how, how quick you? Uh, well, how long did it take to film that? The parts you did. Well, I did all of my stuff in one day, which is okay. I mean, it's a lot with setups and stuff. And and yeah. it was a small crew, but still there a lot of them are learning. And, you know, it was a low budget, which is, I think, is so much fun to work on. And um, but it was kind of fun. You know, I got to do I mean, it was subtle, but it, I like to be a little creepy. So. <laughs> and you got the poker in the chest <laughs> at the <laughs> end. <laughs> it's just the funniest little movie. I just was like, wait, what, what am I doing? Okay. But they were so nice. And Dustin Ferguson directed that. And he's just, he's really gone on to um, like really do a lot of these B movies that he's becoming quite popular here in the States. I don't know about, you know, um, and you're part of the world, but you know, he seems to be doing a lot of movies. I'll take so. that off. <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> enough, enough of the tribute for Jen. <laughs> no, it's, it's summer still down here and it's quite warm where I am. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We've got, we've got a few people. We're live, Jen. So we've got a few people uh, in the chat that might just say, we just say hello. They want to say hello oh, to you. Oh, that's so fun. I don't think I've ever done a live. This is exciting. Yeah, you had. Last time was live too. <laughs> was it too? See, I'm clueless. You got to tell me ahead. Of, you probably did. And I'm like, okay, all right. That's all right, Jen. You know, you know, Jen, like I think last time when you did, we, we had those technical difficulties. Um, there was just those points that you powered through like a professional, yeah. like, and like you couldn't hear us, and you're just talking to us like we could, and you just, it was just amazing. Uh, like, you're showing well, you know, I felt so bad about that. Um, and I just felt like you guys took so much time to bring me on your show, and I was gonna at least start telling stories if they were at all interesting to somebody. Great, if not. I just, I, I just felt bad, and I wanted to make sure you got something of me in there. If you were, but they're all into. Well, that's why people are here. They want to hear what you've got to say, Jen. Of oh, you know, especially that's so us. Nice. I, I, I've been a Thank fan you. of yours since you first started. So, I, yeah, I'm not sure well, if I'm your number that, one and, fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fun thing about us, and and if people maybe some of the viewers um, don't know, but you came to the States and you flew to California and I came and met you and we had lunch and you went street shopping with me. <laughs> Strange as that. <laughs> but it was fun and it was so fun to meet you that day. And, and we just had a great time. 
it was like you know just to, it's a little bit surreal there's someone that you watch on on the screen and then like you're, you're chatting to them like we had we just had a, a quick chat and like how about i'll meet you here and i said yeah let's let's do that and it, it's all very surreal and then am i really talking to jennifer runyon I, i'm not sure oh my gosh and then all of a sudden you meet and there you are this person that you've watched on tv movies is like Oh my God, I'm going to faint. <laughs> well, I know no. that feeling. I know that feeling because moving yeah. to California when I was a kid and, you yeah. know, I grew up watching all, you know, you know, the same shows I'm sure you all did. And if you were watching US shows, you know, the Brady Bunch, the Partridge Family, all these shows at that era when I was a kid. And, and then to see them um, walking down the street, and you're like, what you know like the first time i ever saw um aaron moran from happy days, happy days she yeah. went to my school and i'm literally i'm a starstruck kid because i grew up in the midwest and yeah. i didn't have any you know hollywood ideas at that point and we just moved there but here are these people that i would see on television and i just was like oh my it was this it's surreal it's yeah. very surreal well, I guess there's those different levels. So you go, Scotty. No, I was just on that note, Jen. I was, just, and firstly, like, thanks for joining us. It's, uh, it's a, it's an absolute pleasure to have you once again. We appreciate your time. But were there, were there moments on set in, in your earlier, uh, projects or earlier years where you, where you had to like, where you had some, you know, starstruck nerves to overcome, you know, working, whether it was, whether it was directors or whether it was, um, castmates that you kind of had to, had to, you know, just uh, uh, overcome in those earlier days. Yes. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, when I, I, I started on a soap opera and I'm sure I told you guys, we talked about it last time, but for anyone who doesn't know, so I started on a soap opera here in the States called another world. And I, I had done to all a good night, this, little horror movie that actually was a lot of fun and now it's got a pretty big cult following which <laughs> cracks me up but um i was cast as christopher knight's love interest on this soap opera and i was like that's that's peter brady <laughs> i mean i grew up <laughs> watching him no oh my god yes 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 this is great but i literally was so shy at first and and with pretty much a lot of the cast that you know some of them were um you know famous movie stars back in the day and i love old movies so i was like oh my gosh there's hugh marlow playing my grandfather and oh. i just adore him and connie ford who you know was playing my aunt and it was just amazing to be around all these people that, you know, I used to watch their movies when I was a kid on, you know, the whatever network showed all the old movies on the weekends or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I did. And I did pretty much most of my career if I was meeting somebody that, you know, I was like, oh my God. But you know, more than actors, for me, it was musicians, you know? Right. I, I, I can't talk if I meet a musician, I literally clam up and I can't, I stutter and I'm, <laughs> I'm a wreck. I don't know what it is. So I met Ringo Starr. Well, I didn't really, but I did, yeah. um, at a toy store and I was, I'm a huge Beatles fan, huge. And I'm like. 15, 16 years old, and I'm with my girlfriend, and I'm buying my little brother a birthday present. And in comes Ringo Starr with his wife, who's beautiful, by the way. And and I I'm just like, Hallie, my girlfriend, Hallie, it's Ringo. It's Ringo. <laughs> and she goes, Go say hi. And I'm like, No, no. You know? say? So she bless her heart she went up to him for me and yeah. said she would really like your autograph and he looked at me and he goes don't you talk and i'm like <laughs> no not to you <laughs> <laughs> but he did he gave me his autograph which i wish i still had it i don't know got lost in one of my many moves but but yeah, yeah. it's more it's more musicians okay. you know but i what think to matheson and Bill Murray. Bill Murray, I was a little like, oh, 
oh, I love Bill Murray. Oh, really? I was just gonna be, yeah. I, but I, but once you meet him and you're, you know, you get so comfortable so fast. He's so he was so nice to Stephen and I. What What about uh, George Lazenbury? <laughs> Jane, <Yes>. we. George. <laughs> I love George. <laughs> <laughs> we watched Jen, we watched The Master last night and uh, <laughs> and you guys, there, are, you guys are killing me. <laughs> no, we're bringing them up, Jen. We're bringing them up. <laughs> oh, I think that's so cool. Oh my god. Okay, and that okay, Timothy Van Patten. I couldn't even I that boy was <laughs> just knock me over with a feather but um george was fun he was so nice and um and lee van cleef was on that show and i loved lee he was very nice very troubled guy in yeah. some ways but just a good person you know just yeah. had some demons but yeah yeah well there, there was there was a we were wondering because we're watching your scenes closely and uh you, you were pushed into this room and this guard pushes you to the ground and uh, and I say this to Maddie, you go, gosh, that was a good shove there. I wonder if she... <laughs> well, he, yeah, he pretty much, I've been injured a few times on sets. <laughs> and that was a little aggressive. I was like, whoa, okay, I guess we're, we're going for reality here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Did, he oh, Did he say, sort of go, I'm yeah. sorry, that was a bit harsh? Or that was just... That yes, was just yes. Yes, apologize. Like, oh, go, 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 did I hurt you? Are you okay? And it's like, yeah, I'm fine. But yeah, yeah. There, there was one time I was on a set. Um, I think it was the Highwayman. That was a TV oh, yeah. uh, show here. I, I don't know if I did the pilot or I just yeah, did an did, episode. Yeah. I can't remember. Did I do the pilot? You did the pilot. I don't yeah. remember. And that I got shoved up against a car by an actor who was a love. He was such, he's such a nice guy, but I got so hurt on that. And to this day, it's still my back is Ooh, oh, wow. know, kind of off for that. But it, you know, it was an accident. Nobody meant anything by it, but hazards of acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's going for realism. He's going for realism. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, some actors out there really committed to the scene. <laughs> oh my gosh, sometimes you do. Sometimes people do get a little carried away, or you know, and uh, can get very interesting. But all good. Let's say hello. Gap, Gap saying hello, hello Jennifer. Well, hello Gap after dark. Hi. <laughs> that sounds a bit raunchy, doesn't it? Gap after dark. Um, Gap after dark. <laughs> we have Mark. His name's Mark. Mark from Blue Harvest Toys. He's oh, hi, great. Mark. Oh, my gosh. And Gap, so Gap agrees that you're awesome. So, oh. <laughs> Another friend. Uh, we've got Jules. Jules says hello. Hello, Jules. <laughs> Jules who not? That's Jules, very hello, cool. Jen. We've got Peter. Peter from the PGM show. He says hello to you as well. He's over oh, in New Zealand. Hello. Oh, my Actually, gosh. On my bucket list. <laughs> yes, well, you, you've got to get to New Zealand. And you guys, yeah. too, for sure. Yeah, Australia first. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely, we have to. And and that's going to be our next uh, big planned trip, I think, maybe really? in a year or so. Yeah, because oh, we, cool. have, we have to come see you guys and see your part of the world. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I, I, <laughs> I remember know, talking right? to you when you... When you we met up and you said, oh, I want to come to Australia because I think Todd and yourself love, um, is it scuba diving or you like um, snorkeling? Is that one of your hobbies? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, that's how I, I met my husband on a movie um, that I um, had to learn how to scuba dive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But I don't scuba dive anymore. It's That was... Um, that was one of those things I learned how to do it. I did it and I never wanted to do it again, even though I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Um, but I was kind of, I was kind of traumatized by the experience because literally yeah. they just, they had me doing stunts <clears throat> underwater and um, I had to get trapped under this big, and I did, they did, they put this big, piece of wood over me and I, and I lose my regulator and, and oh, the stunt people are right there, Jen, don't, and they were, they were, but um, 
but but it was traumatizing you know i've never i'm not a seasoned scuba diver mm -hmm. so um i did it and then when they wanted me to float dead 30 feet under oh, the water yes. in a cabin yeah, yeah. was I that went, you look i know you was that okay. you that was that you in the water did you did you see it yes yeah okay no because i would not do the scene where i'm dead in my nightgown floating in a cabin literally that mm. had been sunk in okay, 30 good. feet of water yeah. yeah and they're like oh no all the stunt guys are going to be right there to give you a regulator and i'm like no you don't understand i'll be the one that they can't get to me i will die and i'm not doing it <laughs> <laughs> so they made my double do it but i did all the other you know little tricky ones and stuff like that but i just i just you know you gotta have your boundaries at some point sure. so you um but yes I, we love to snorkel we love to snorkel yeah. And, um yeah because out yeah. uh just where i live there uh, we call it's just in new south wales in australia just up the road i'll say they they sunk a few ships uh scuttle them they, they say out out offshore and I thought, well, there's, a, there's probably a place. And they've got a big dive center there. And I thought, well, if you ever do come and visit, I was going to take, well, Todd at least now, maybe not yourself. We'll, we'll, we'll hang back, Jen, and watch Todd go. But <laughs> you can go and check out these ships. He won't, he won't, he won't, he won't scuba dive. He, he won't, won't do it anymore. But he won't. No, he, he won't. He's never, he never scuba dived. He's only snorkeled. Okay. I'm the only one that was has been brave. Okay. But um you know you never know if i did it again maybe i would now not be uh quite as frightened of it because yep. there wasn't a time crunch and you got to yeah. get the scene and you know you know maybe now i would go into it much calmer and more leisurely because it is the most tranquil and yeah and most beautiful thing um when you're down there and i loved that just <laughs> love <laughs> you're no flu too no right. thank you <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but you know, um, when I learned how uh, in the Caribbean, um, that's what they took us down to. We um, we swam down, d dove down to this ship, and um, and we had to take off everything, all not our clothes, but no. you know our equipment. Yeah. You had to take off your tank, your weight belt, take your regulator, and then we had to like with our hands go around the boat okay and just... then we and it was one of the the requirements to get my um certificate and yeah. i was i wouldn't <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. I the most pain in the ass but i'm like <laughs> i'm not taking the belt off i mean yeah. i i could just see my me going whoosh, you know so yeah. I don't blame I'm you. So too. difficult. To I just don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not at such a young age, anyway. <laughs> no, I have so much to live for. That's right. Well, you only just, I think that's where you met Todd. That's where you, he, is that how yeah, you met Todd? That's on that? the movie. I met him on that movie, and I always thought I'd never going to, oh, Lord, set romances, right? And well, here I yeah. meet the love of my life and and it's 38 years later so congratulations Excellent. i think Amazing. it's working out so <laughs> a little bit <laughs> he's a good guy he said to say hello you? by the way yes we just had our yeah yeah he said to say hello um we just had our anniversary last saturday and that was yes. really fun and yeah we had a really good time I tell you, there were some pictures you posted, and oh my goodness, you're both so young. When you look back at oh, those pictures, our wedding, yes, your wedding pictures. I think God, posted. I'm like, Jeff. Oh no, I'm talking about you haven't changed, but Todd, you look so young. Oh no, I changed. <laughs> but I, I, it's so funny though because hmm. I look at like you see old photos. You guys know how this is. You see old photos of yourself, and you're like, I, whoa, that was a whole life ago and yeah. i wouldn't want to go back and i mean i would want it, i would do it all over again the same way and yeah and every wrinkle and every crease is all been earned and every line tells a story jen that's 
that's the way it I goes. So. Yeah, we, we yeah. wouldn't be, you know, we're not who we are if we didn't experience what we experienced. So yeah. absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Let's go back. Actually, um, I, we do have a question here from Gap who says... Well, we've got a few questions from Gap. We probably, yeah, we've probably got a few questions. <laughs> we'll get wrapped up here. But this is something that I wanted to cover. Um, we yeah. didn't cover it last time. Last time we spoke a lot about Ghostbusters, a little bit about Carnosaur, about ghosts. <laughs> Andrew brought that up. Yeah, um, but yeah I remember. We, yeah, mm. we didn't cover this, though, like about whether you always wanted to be an actress. Like, is it something from a, a little... A little girl, you went, I want to be an actress, or it's something mm. you found yourself. In. You know, I, I I was really um when I was younger, I mean like most young girls, I was really more of a horsey girl. I really thought I was gonna be in the equestrian, riding hunter jumpers, and you know, somehow I was gonna raise horses and train them and and you know, we couldn't ever really afford for me to do that. So, um, but I got to, you know, I grew up around horses and I just, I, acting wasn't even a thought in my mind. Um, yeah. But I used to love, you know, movies and television shows and I'd get lost in all that. And I used to act out yeah. every theme, beginning of every TV show, you know, all the, the Mary Tyler Moore with all the twirling, you know, I did all of it, you know, I, I acted out everything. and. And yep. so when I was older, about 12, I'm not older, but 12 or 13, um, yep. we moved to California and our neighbor, I would walk her dog and she was a casting director. And um, I was very shy and I, I really had a hard time talking to people. And, you know, I just, I, I just was horribly, pathetically shy. And so Ruth um, said to my mom, I really think, Jennifer needs to get into this acting class, not to be an actor, just to bring her out of her shell. And, and so they, my mom told me that. And I went, I, I didn't say no. I, I just said, well, I'll go, but I don't have to do anything, do I? I mean, no, 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 no. You just go and show up. And well, I showed up and of course they put me up on the stage and they make me do all this stuff and they're filming you. Yeah. And then I then I sat and watched all the actors doing their scenes and I went, I want to come back. I want to come back. And I came back again and again and again. And I did it for years. And yeah. I didn't really know even then if that's what I was going to do for a living. I'm 17, 18 years old now. And yeah. and then I got cast in that to all a good night okay. through another of my acting buddies in class was in it and so they brought me in and I and you guys this was such a cheap low budget movie it wasn't even you know no no, no union nothing 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 so um but then after I did that little thing a casting director came to kind of talk to the class and tell us what the acting world was about what the business was like and you know all that kind of stuff and then he watched us do our scenes and then he brought me in on the soap and um that's how i got started and i just came out of nowhere i mean i wasn't pursuing yeah. it yet i but i was like well maybe i really do like this maybe I, did, I don't know if i ever really thought i would do it because i was so insecure and so shy and but i kind of kept plowing through and and um challenging myself and that's it is cool. very painful to look back, you guys, and see my beginnings. <laughs> it's yeah. painful. <laughs> I, I literally go, oh, I didn't know how to talk. I, I had this little voice like this. And, and I, I mean, I can look back now and just go, oh, we were so young and little. But, <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> but that, to answer your question, I didn't know. But I guess I did. There was something that, that's, that's really interesting, though, Jen, because I've I've heard from artists in a lot of different fields, whether it's like visual artists or whether it's musicians, um, that to look back on your older work often makes you cringe a little bit. And not to compare what you do or what any artist does with what we do, but I can look at old videos and just go, oh, my God, what was I thinking the way I'm talking to the camera and stuff? So 
it's I was it's I was kind of curious about you know when you look at your earlier projects if you look back with pride or if you have trouble watching some of the earlier stuff that you've done you know like like a lot of artists do yeah you know there's some things I look back on and I thought at the time oh my god I was so bad at that that was just awful and now I can look back at it and I'm like it was just a beginning. It was my beginning. And it's not that I was bad. I was just young. I was still kind of learning how to do it all. Even it was almost yeah. like my college education going into the soap operas, you know, um, for acting. Cause I got sh just shoved in there with, you know, pros and I had to learn really quickly. And, and there's some things I'm really proud of that I can look back on now, you know, and go, Oh, Oh, okay, I did it. That was good. You did okay. Yeah, I don't awesome. think I was the best actress in the world by any means, but I think I had a lot of fun and and um, yeah, I had a really good run. No, he didn't. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> good morning or good afternoon to G-Force. Hey, G-Force. another Mars. Hello, hey, G-Force. Yes. It's, it's a very uh, international audience uh, this morning for yeah. us, this evening for others. I mean, we've got people from the UK, the US, uh, Japan, New Zealand. So. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. so that cool, is. you guys. Yeah, when, when, very nice. When you were sort of uh, doing the, the – when you were doing the acting, did, did, did you wait for parts to come to you or did you actively chase parts up? For, to... well, yeah um <clears throat> well you're, my agent would submit agents will submit you um yeah. when you're first starting out you know a lot of times um they'll have a list already of who they would like to cast and things and they always bring other people in in case you know whoever they first their first choices maybe they can't get so um but um, in the beginning, yeah, I, you just get odd, you get um, submitted for things and the casting people get to know you and they bring you back again and again. And then sometimes as you grow and they get to know you and the networks get to know you, um, they'll just say, hey, you know, you've been offered this. Um, like that happened to me with a lot of TV guest spots, you know, they'd like you to um, <clears throat> do this part. You, you want to do it. And, but that just comes with familiarity and them knowing you after a while. And, but yeah, usually you, you're submitted, the casting people go through your, go through all those submissions and, mm. and it's a hard thing to, to, to start in that business. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe, I think it's even harder now. Um, my daughter's in it and she's, she's, yeah. she's doing pretty good, but it's a hard, it's hard to get a start and it's hard to get your foot in the door now and it's much harder than when i first you know came out into the into the field when you were doing it back in there it'd be just be like i guess like whatever he'd be throwing at you you'd be saying well i would you, would you be getting scripts early on you'd be just getting the agent to Sometimes you would get scripts. Sometimes you would just get the sides, like a scene or two that you would go in and read for the okay. casting people. Yeah. And um, um, then if then if you got a call back, then sometimes you'd get the whole script. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's usually how it would work. You'd go in and you'd read for them. Now now they don't even see you anymore. Now you just do it all on um, on your um, camera. Oh really? So my daughter, when she auditions now. She has yeah. a whole setup at home because you yeah. have to do it all. Um, all of it, uh, all tape. Oh, okay. was was there ever was there ever a part you went? Oh, I want to really play that part. I want to want to be in that. Yes, yes. The one I really I wanted it so bad, but she was so cute in it, and cute. you can't take it away from her. Is um, uh, Splash? I. Oh, wanted no. to be Madison. Yes. And I oh. went pretty far in that. Oh, okay. So that would have been a, f I would have loved it. Yeah. Would, would you have called that a, a bit of a game changer again? <laughs> if you'd got that role, do you think that was a bit of a game changer? 
Oh, I'm, I think so. Yeah, I think that, yeah. um, you know, it is a, it's a game changer, certain parts people get. It just gets right. them, their foot in the door and, and you know. Because that was that's always been um, in the back of my mind. Like there's been, obviously, throughout the years, I and I'll use a few examples here. There's been like, uh, you, know, you know, Christopher Reeve got Superman, but initially that was going to go to Charles Bronson and um, right. Harrison Ford as Han Solo. They had Al Pacino in mind. So they, they were game breakers for those. Yeah, Why does that make Al me Pacino laugh? Win Solo? I, don't I don't see Al Pacino. <laughs> I can't see that. That's so weird. That's but, weird. So yeah, it's always, yeah. It's always been um, on my mind. Like, hey, was there those type of roles where you've just missed out and it would have been a game changer? So yeah, that that's a good question, Andrew. It's always been on my mind. Well, Jen, I think Jen would have looked good as uh, Supergirl in the you know in the the oh, nineteen. Yeah, you got the blonde oh, hair. Yeah. And, yeah, definitely. Well, thanks. I wish you were <laughs> casting. <laughs> 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 hey, listen, you know, I, I had a nice run and and I just I had the best time and sure, would it have been fun to get some pretty big roles that could have, you know, I could have gone further? Yeah, but I would trade my life and what I have now right. for anything. And and I don't think I would have had the same life. Absolutely. I think that so, where you are today, you're in a seem to be in a very happy place very yeah. with everything just i think um i look back like i i my first scott asked me a question before we got against well how how did you like get introduced to jen like what and it was charles in charge so and that was that would have came that would have come after splash right so you may not have ever done that it changes it's on your timeline isn't it but charles in charge yeah. i want to go go there because that was my first introduction to watching anything Jennifer Runyon. And then there was then things like <laughs> Up the Creek came and and the Ghostbusters. Um, but yeah, you were just you, know, you played um, you know, Gwendolyn Pierce in in that in Charles in Charge. But you're just there for a season. And I, I loved that show. Like I'd come home from school or and I'd come and I'd watch that episode. And then yeah. it just ended after a season. And then it started up again a year or so later and you weren't there anymore. I lost interest. Yeah. What happened after the end of that season? Were you told you weren't going to come back? Or? Um, well, the first season, we didn't know if we'd get, you know, a, a pickup for a second season. You don't, you don't always, you don't know that right away, usually. Right. Um, and we didn't, we didn't get picked up. And so we all kind of went on our own way and we're doing other yeah. things. And, and then... <laughs> It got it went, syndication bought it, and um, so they they didn't ask me or any of the kids back or the original family back yeah. because first of all the kids got older. Um, they they didn't really want Scott to have a love interest because mm. there's so many storylines for him to have a girlfriend, you know, or to not you know to be searching for a girl and. And to have me there, it's just, it kind of limits the the story plot line that can evolve in different girl situations for Scott. And so, yeah, so I, I came back and did two of them um, where he asked me to marry him and we're going to get in, <laughs> but we don't because it's a sitcom and uh -huh. sucks. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, no, they didn't ask any of us back. and. Yeah. And I knew when we were doing the first season, um, yeah. they had said to me, we're going to kind of change things up a little bit. You and Scott are just going to be friends because, you know, we need, yeah. you know, yeah. We want him to and that was yeah. okay. Yeah. And we did that and it was fine. But yeah. I think it was a good way to get rid of Gwendolyn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. That. It was yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. It was good. I didn't. I didn't realize you came back for that second season. Just those two episodes, yeah. and it wasn't until years later that I I found that and watched could watch that on. I went, oh, this is beautiful. It's good to see that they've closed that part of his life. Yeah, often. they kind of closed the chapter, which was good. I mean, if you're going to well, at least close the chapter, because a lot of people wanted to know what happened to Gwendolyn, and so there you go. Yeah, I wonder. This is a good question from Gap. 
He's come up with some goodies. I so this is funny. Wikipedia doesn't have this credit, but Internet Movie Database does have you doing this movie called Gunfight at Silver Creek. Can you confirm yes or no you did that film? <laughs> You're where's Gal Pavernet? Where's Gal Pavernet from? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's an American. I think. <laughs> okay. It was an interesting experience. Let's just say that. Okay. I don't have a lot of good things to Is say. It, okay. Is it a major, was it a major or a minor role? Like just a guest spot? It or? was a major role. <laughs> yeah, it was major. But right. uh, we shut down after. Um, yeah. two weeks because they ran out of money like uh, they never wow. had money i don't it was a bad experience it was, look i had yeah. a great time i was with my yeah. friend charlie schlatter and jim beaver and all these incredible people and we were trying to make the best of it and have so much fun and and yeah. it's just what it is it was kind of a disappointing situation but i'm disappointed it didn't move on but okay. it's what it was yeah. And Michael, Michael Pare is... Oh, you have a lot of good questions. <laughs> See? Yeah. You're bringing up the old ones. <laughs> what was it like then? So, working yeah. with Michael is, was amazing. He's really a terrific guy. I, uh, Lorenzo Lamas was in that movie too. And yeah. um, I had a good time on that movie. It was fun. It was fun. I, uh, I found out when the movie was over um they dubbed my voice because they thought i sounded way too young oh uh, yeah did you yeah. Where they, yeah, so, we, yeah we, we touched yeah. on that in the last stream yeah yeah so <laughs> you do get a oh, jennifer that sounds like this <laughs> and everything that comes out of my mouth sounds like and it's the strangest yeah, i mean I mean, I know I have a soft voice, but hello, oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh, it was lovely. so bizarre. Yes. yes, I was in Booker. Yeah, I the, you didn't last long uh, with Booker either, did you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Richard was very nice. Very nice. I, I worked with on that a few days. He seemed a really sweet guy. Yeah, you know, I, did, I didn't really get to work with him too much. I mean, I think I, think I did two scenes with him. So... But that was another one that was very nice. You know, hey, we you, you want to come up to Canada and yeah. um, shoot an episode of, of the show? And I'm like, yeah, why not? That sounds fun. So yeah, I got to go to that, Vancouver and Canada. Yeah. 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 yeah I that's, love Canada. that's another one that I watched um, just in preparation for this. Uh, it, it's it's funny. A, lo a lot of things that I've watched of yours, you, um, you, you, your poor characters seem to uh, meet untimely ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I I don't know. I either get yeah. stabbed with a poker, I get shot, I get I don't know. It's... Mauled by a dinosaur. Well, well Dan, no. there's another there's another actor that still wants to have a go at you, and that's uh Carnotaur. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest movie to work on because you know, there's no dinosaur you know and and so everything we're doing we're just reacting to nothing and it was it was hilarious it was it's, so a, it's a fun movie kind of saw for sure it's great it <laughs> oh my gosh um i was gonna what was i gonna ask you oh yeah this one's um <laughs> you it's just this is the thing about you jen this is why i just i love your stuff is because you appeared in so many of the shows that i love to watch you, obviously, we've, we spoke about Murder, She Wrote last time and Angela. And yeah. there was all of a sudden, I'm just going to ch chuck these words at you. Were you Team Brandon or were you Team Dylan? <laughs> That's Beverly Hills uh, 902. <laughs> I kind of team both. I love like, them both. Yeah. But I love, I love, oh. Yeah, I love them both. They were so they were so nice, and and yeah. all the boys on that show were incredible, and the girls were really nice too. I, I you know everybody, but they weren't nice to each other, which was hilarious. Um, oh, yeah, I told you that story, right? No, no, we didn't speak about nine hundred two one zero. No, so okay. Anything so anything you say about now is all new information. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and you know was, I don't care if, if I say anything out of turn. I mean this, that shows over and over and don't want. But anyway, um, 
I had so much fun on that because I, I was watching it. I was so much older than all those kids. And when I came on, you know, I thought, oh, this is cool. I'm going to be on a, one of the top shows, you know, this is so fun. And, and the first day I get on, I get in the makeup trailer and all of a sudden the door slams open and oh. I can't remember who came in, but it was, I hate him. I hate oh. him. And it was like, <laughs> I can just say who was who, but I literally, I'm just getting to the set and I'm like, oh my God, everything we're hearing, it, it's true. <laughs> I guess they'd had a big fight. I don't know. It was just so silly. And, and I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh, you guys are on the most uh, watched television. Yeah. I, I don't know, in the world. I, I, I don't know. Probably was around and like and and you guys are all acting like you're six you know but <laughs> but they were all really individually meeting them they were really nice very nice well they were they, they they must have been kind to you because like they were all well established cast yes. members so I, I, they, they treat you all they were okay? so nice to me um yeah. and you know who's an absolute um angel from god is yeah. tori spelling and um she makes it a point I did a podcast with her and Jenny Garth uh, about a year ago, I think. Okay. And, and I repeated this story to them. I said, you know, yeah. I said, Tori, you were, you were the, you, you found me, you, you sought me out to yeah. welcome me. And, and that was probably one of the kindest, um, you know, gestures because coming on to any show as a guest actor is it's a little intimidating. You know, you don't really, you're not part of the group. And, and the fact that she sought me out to welcome me and tell me she loved Charles in charge. And it was just a nice thing to do. That was a kind, kind gesture. It is. Yeah. It takes a lot yeah. like someone to come out of their comfort zone to welcome yeah. a new person into the, the fold. It takes a lot of yeah. you know, a lot of respect for those type of people. Are yeah. you in Frozen Empire? <laughs> the new Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> I bet you're not, are you? I think they lost my phone number. <laughs> What's going on? Come on, come on, Jason Reitman. What's going on? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. And I how fun would that have been? But no, I'm not in the movie. Well, well, I'm gonna show I'll show you something later. Um, but you yeah, will go to Mr. Well, it's nostalgia button, but his name is Siz. So yeah, he, he did say hello earlier to you. <laughs> we, um, what was it like working with Jesse the Body Venture and Roddy Piper? Now, yeah, we kind of covered this last time, but to answer Siz, please feel free yeah. to give us some yeah. feedback on what it was like with um, these wrestlers. <laughs> okay, they were so fun. They were funny. They were easy to be around. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, it was great. No, it was actually, it was a great experience and they were fun and, uh, I got to, they did a whole wrestling thing. I think I told you they had all yeah. part of the show was at the end was this big wrestling thing. And that was fun to be a part of that. And so it was so, great. It was a good, it was, was a, a good experience. Pilot? Yeah. It was that a pilot for a, a show? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I did the pilot. Oh God, this is terrible. I don't know the things I've done. Like if the <laughs> <laughs> go back to Gap. I think it was the I think it was the pilot. I don't think it was just it was. one episode. I think it was the pilot. Okay. Thank you, yeah. Matthew. Yeah. Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> my, there was, there my was walking Wikipedia buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so many of your yeah. things are just so hard to track down these days. But they are a few more and more appearing on YouTube, um, and there was another one. I'm not going to go into it because I don't. I, I never watched it, but it's pros and cons, and I think. Oh, yeah. Have you I, seen it? No, you I started to watch. It. I just ran out of time, oh, but I noticed. Carol wait, Tom was it's on out it. there. Yes. There wait, is that? The... Stop. It is. Oh Where's my. Because that was that another was a pilot. pilot. Yeah. Yeah. That. Oh my gosh. That was a pilot I did with Carol Potter. Yeah. And um. Casey. Wow. Yeah. It was yeah. originally called. Yeah. The Fraud Squad. 
Okay. It was called the Fraud Squad, and then they changed the name yeah. to Pros and Cons. But yeah, it didn't get picked up. But yeah, that would have been a fun. That would have been fun. Do you know? It looked interesting. I, I, I look. I did watch the first ten minutes, and it looked interesting. There was a scene with another actress, and you both got into this guy had a bit of a complaint, and you both got it. It was right at the beginning. And you both got into his face, and you're going off at him, going off at him. But like, the other actress is saying something, and you're you're into his face at the same time and going, this is a really good scene. You've got a really good chemistry going on. I've here. never seen it. I've never seen oh. it. I, you know, watch your stuff. Would you please send me that? I'll send you the link. <laughs> Literally, yeah. do. I've never seen it. I, I just did it. Okay. And and then it never, um, I don't think it ever aired. And if it did, I didn't know. And um, oh. I would, wow. Now I'm scared. I'm scared to see that one. <laughs> Well, you're looking, okay. well, you you're doing well in it, Jen. I, I actually okay. Know, okay, thank you. Yeah, you're, Just tell me that's okay. <laughs> I'll send you the link. I'm telling you, it's intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Oh there is gosh. one that I can never find. Is um, the flight of the spruce goose. Like I don't know if you remember what that was. I think that was a TV film you must have done. Mm -mm. No. no, that is a movie I did with movie, yeah. um, uh, by with the director Lech Majewski. He's from Poland, and right. um, Michael Hausman produced that movie. Um, right. That was a that movie. I loved that movie so much, and yeah. it just didn't do well. Um, or I think it had like a minute release, and 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 it's a shame because it's kind of a it's an interesting story about um, this town called Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And in Pittsburgh is this girl that she models for this department store and works at this department store. Hello, Christian. And, um, and she's going to do this photo shoot. And they, they decided to take her to the coal mines and yeah. um, to do these, this um, photo shoot. In, in, in a wedding dress. So I go to the, in the movie, I go to the coal mines with the photographer and they pick out this coal miner to pose with me. And he's holding me in my wedding dress and he's in a whole, you know, miner's garb. And, and it, it's all about how he falls in love with this girl and she doesn't quite feel the same way. And um, he feels like that this guy who's her agent is taking advantage of her. And he decides that he's going to rescue her and take yeah. her to Hollywood so she can be a star. And yeah. so he kidnaps her okay. and he takes her to the, um, the Spruce Goose. That's all I'm going to tell you. You got to go find it. Yeah. <laughs> There's not even a video cassette of it. It's I do have a copy. Somebody <laughs> sent me a copy wow. from somewhere in Europe. And I feel yeah. horrible because I should I should know who did that now. And I it's been a couple of years. But no, um <laughs> it's 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 an interesting movie. It's you know, it's not a bad movie. It just didn't yeah. get to have a play. Is it on but Jack Kehoe, uh I think yes. Ooh. I'm gonna look through my thing and I'll text you and tell you. Um I, but Karen Black was in it. Karen Black played my oh, mother. Yep. Yeah. And she, she was incredible. Um, Jack yeah. Kehoe, if you know who Jack Kehoe is, he's a it's very uh, famous um, actor who's passed yeah. on now and Karen too. But yeah. it was a great, it was fun. I had a, I, I, I loved doing that movie. It was probably one of the hardest movies I've ever done because my director was, he was, no. um, he was challenging and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, you know, yeah. he really pushed me and, and it was probably a great thing he did for me. But. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes these, in, in anything in life, really, whether it be just, you know, your nine to five job or as a career, it's always good to get challenged and pushed because mm. there's a boundary there, right? And you don't think you can yeah. cross that boundary, but these, these people come and challenge you and they push you beyond yeah. and it probably taught you a few things about yourself, your career that you could do. Yeah. And it, and it, it, it I think it's, 
think when we stop allowing crit critiques to come yeah. our way, yeah. we're really doing ourselves a disservice because that's the only way you grow, you know, that's the only way you grow. Well, there's ways of people critiquing you, isn't there? There's, you know, they, yes. there's a nice and pushing way. and yeah. yes. That's and right. he wasn't necessarily always nice, but yeah, I took it and I'm like, and it wasn't, he yeah. never did anything inappropriate. It was just more harsh than I'd ever been treated. <clears throat> and he, then he would say, see, and I'd go, see. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I learned a lesson. I, yeah. I can do that. You know, That's hello right. there. Hello, Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> Sunny's over in Western Australia. So we're on the east side of Australia. He's in the west side. And they're, believe it or not, three hours behind us. Same country. Oh, oh how weird. It, it's just yeah. it's so it's odd. a big country. Yeah. It's a big country. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, one, yeah. One side's three hours difference to the other. So it's just it's absolutely crazy. I'm just getting, sorry, going through the chat. Um, did you? <laughs> I don't think you didn't quite get there, did you? You didn't go around the corner to see the no. people in Noah's place. No. <laughs> I didn't watch that show. I never did that one. Yeah, I never, I never saw that show, but I knew a lot of people on it. But I, I never okay. got to really watch that. From what I can hear, like there's a lot of times, and I'll go back once again to um, the Mel Fisher story. And I don't know if you guys know this, but on that show, uh, on that the film is also William. Well, the Karate Kid, Johnny Lawrence. What's his name? William Zab. Oh, Zabka? Will, Billy Zabka. Mm -hmm. yeah. Billy Zabka. He was Billy there Zabka. as well on on that yes. show with you. And I'm. Yeah. It was yeah. after the Karate Kid. I went, oh, is this what he did after the Karate Kid? <laughs> was it after? Yeah, I guess it was after. Yeah. Yeah, Karate Kid was '84, yeah. and yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Was and this was '80, '84. No, the official was 86, 80, 80. No, it was 80. We did 86, 80, 86. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we're going yeah. back a few years. I know it's like almost wow. 38 years or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. What was I it know. like working with uh, with Billy? Like he's he's obviously in the last few years with the, the Karate Kid franchise. Kicking yeah, off they're back. I know. How cool is that? He was good. Yeah. Look, I, 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 in that movie, you know, it, we all, all the kids, played, you know, they were brothers and sisters and I was the, yeah. the sister-in-law. So it became like a family, you know, we all, we all hung out together um, when we weren't shooting and, you know, it was, it was an interesting experience to work on the water like that. That's where I did the scuba diving. Yeah. The scuba um, diving. Yeah. 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 But I'm it gonna, was um, interesting experience. Was it? Yeah, so he, you didn't have much to do with Billy or at the time? Not, Not really. really in our scenes. We were probably in a lot yeah. of the same scenes because we were the kids on the boat and, you know. Um, yeah. But we didn't. Um, I I was, I played the wife um, of Derek Fisher. I played Angel and um, the two of us end up dying in the film. So, um <laughs> He drowned. Yeah. He <laughs> Underwater, out in bed. I've got a bit of a surprise. Without a tank and a regulator <laughs> and a nighty. <laughs> the Zazel. Good day, Zazel. Zazel. Hey, Zazel. Oh, Zazel. I love that name. I know. It's a great name. Zazel, and his last name is Phoenix. Zazel Phoenix. Oh, I love it's that. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that, cool. that's a Hollywood name if I've ever heard one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a great name. Well, he, he'll, love street, he'll love it. Sorry. Well, Zazel, you have to know, he maybe he knows this, but there's a street in California called Zizix. And it's all Z Zs. And an X at the end. Zizix. <laughs> Zazel and Zizix. <laughs> they would go together. He's a, uh, mm. he's a massive Sergeant Slaughter fan. So another wrestler. I don't know if you've heard of Sergeant very Slaughter. Cool. He's very famous, no. I, I imagine, in the circles. So, yeah, same, same era as Roddy Piper and, uh, and Jesse Piper. Ventura. Oh, okay. Yes, from the, the 70s, 80s. Yeah, he's been around for a while. I wanted, I've got a bit of a surprise for you. 
Now I've got to read this. Like last time we spoke, <laughs> last time we spoke, the last question I asked you was, um, if you were going to be an act, an action figure was going to be created for you, out of all your roles through, you know, what would you, like which character would you pick to get an action figure made of you? And I think I hadn't even finished the sentence, and you went um, Ghostbusters, and I went, oh, okay. So it's funny. So I. Over the course of the last 18 months, I've met um, a, a few new people in my little circle of friends. And uh, one of them is a guy called Adam from Go Figure. And I told him this um, in the last week. And he has, so <laughs> I've got, I'm going to have to, there's a little story behind it, Jen. So bear with me. And I'll tell you why he's done this. What's us. happening? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? So What's happening? he has created, he's created a figure. For, for you. Aww. I'm going to share that with you now. And this character's name is uh, Jen Adams. So Jenny from Ghostbusters. He's actually created <laughs> a figure for you. So this is actually just a 3D rendering of what your character would like. And the, in his mind, Peter Venkman, um, he had, because he had such a crush on Dana Barrett and she left him after the first film, he then hired Jenny to come on board as a Ghostbuster. And that was the, his thought process in creating this figure. Uh, her name is, he's given and give her a last name, Jenny Adams. And um, so there you go. And <laughs> this is what you would look like in action figure form. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the purple. Is it, is Just it a favorite love color? the purple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, That's I'm gonna, oh, that is so fun. <laughs> that is so fun. It is. It's very fun. He's so, he's so pleasant. You. And he can oh, actually create gosh. this figure and the packaging. And I'm going to talk to him and get him to make this figure up for you. And so oh you'll have an actual, gosh. like, I'm not sure how big <laughs> it will be, five inch. And we'll have the card. Oh We're gonna, gosh. I'll work with him, and I'll get, I'll get it worked out with him. And oh um, my we'll get, lord, we'll get this figure sent to you. Um, and you can oh, that is in there so with all that. special. <laughs> so there you wow. go, everybody. That was just a bit of a surprise. Thank you. That is so sweet, and what a sweet surprise! I thank, thank you. Very you. Much, Adam. I love it. Yes, yeah. Adam. <laughs> Look at Jenny. Look, Look at, at Jenny. <laughs> On. On the uh, on the on the back of that card, uh, where yeah. we you know where it talks about the character, we need to make sure that her psychic abilities are referenced. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a must. That's she should have a, she should have a gun that shot out Zena cards or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that is you could make me just tear up right now. It's awesome. I'm going yeah, to that, wow. that is definitely awesome. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. That that it? just I'd buy that. Me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll, I'll get one too. <laughs> we'll get oh, one and then we'll stick it in the dinosaur's mouth. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, that is so special. Seriously, <laughs> thank you. That is so nice. I don't think you've got an action figure made of yourself yet, have you? So. No, that'd be no, I have weird. a cartoon figure, like a, a, not a figure, but yeah. you know, I have a cartoon. But yes, no. Yeah. So this is a first. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. We've we've hit the hour mark, Jen, and I'm just I'm really aware that you need to like we appreciate your time. You can't sit with us here for hours and hours, so um, we'll do these in small doses. Just keep. I know this is so much fun, story. and I do just want to say really quick, Scott, are you yeah. feeling all right? I'm hanging in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing okay. okay. <laughs> all right. I've been thinking about you this whole time, going, "Oh, I hope he's feeling all right," because I know that no, feeling. No, where no, you're no. Just like, no, no, no. it's yeah. I'm quite yeah. okay. Thank you, though. Okay, no, good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Would you um would well, you join us I... backstage for a bit, Jen? Like, if we we will close this off. Yeah, I can stay time. for a little bit. Yeah, yeah I can stay for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. because you've already spent a lot of time with us and we really appreciate spending some time with us and uh, answering Absolutely. some questions from the chat. I just thought, oh, would you like to take, I don't know if there's another question there. 
Uh, is that what you said? I'm not sure what that is. Like, <laughs> oh, that's something to do with hobbits. <laughs> that's all right. Oh. Anyway, I'm just <laughs> because, oh, because P, the PGM show, Pete, he also does some extra work. So he was in uh, one of the Hobbit movies, and uh, oh, neat! So he 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 especially enjoys watching you talk about the um, you know, Hollywood and your career. So he's really yeah. interested. But um, well, everyone is, but Pete's probably actually invested because he does it. So anyway, thank That's you very, very much. That's very cool. Yeah. We, we, we really appreciate thank your you. time and thank you to Todd as well. You guys are amazing. He allowed, you know, we, we're taking you away from him. Oh, actually, have you got two minutes? I wanted to ask you something. Yes, yes, do you have I do. Movie, I'm good. Do you have a movie coming out? I want to look, like, we look at your past. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, we're going to go back to yeah. Ken Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was asked to do this movie and yeah. I'm like, sure, great, great, great. It got pulled. It didn't, it never happened. So oh, okay. yes, it was going to happen and no, it never did. So, oh, okay. Are you, but this, what about, you just have to squad? take it like a grain of salt. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that the spectral squad? There's a movie coming. Yes. That's the one yes. that's been pulled. Yeah. That's okay. the one that they, I was going to go in and do. And actually it was okay. real. Did I tell you guys the concept of it? Cause it was really cute. No, it was these know. guys who um, are ghost hunters, like the Ghostbusters, like the Ghostbusters. And, but they fake, but they fake it. Like they're not real ghosts. So everything I, they do, they, they go in and they set up traps and they film it. And it's like, oh <laughs> yeah, you got a bad ghost. And, but they get this one house yeah. and it's a real ghost and they don't know what the hell they're doing. And it was a cute concept, but it's, that is a fun concept. That that, that would have yeah, been awesome. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah. I thought I thought it sounded cute. I was willing to be a part of it, but I think they just didn't get their funding or whatever. So, yeah. oh, that's yeah. a because you would have um, been well. It says on the credits that your name was going to be Jen, but I I thought whether that was a callback to your role as the yeah role or yes, it was because they basically they wanted me to open the movie like i i don't i don't open ghostbusters by the way it's that's the the librarian right she's the yeah, one correct. that's all about her yeah. but they they wanted it to open with me you know okay kind of doing a i need you you know kind okay. of thing so as a playoff on it kind of which a little bit of fun but it would have been it would have been yeah. thank you again so thank yeah. you uh, there's a thank few people in there saying thank you like for sharing with us thank you for being with us oh my gosh that was so fun and you're all so amazing and i like hang out, hanging out with you guys so oh thank you talk to my people there you go cat says she's so sweet well we know we know you're sweet it's very Aww. gracious you're very gracious <laughs> giving us Aww, your time thank you guys so much thank you thank you all i love you i want to come back <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody for joining us and uh we'll, we'll let you all go now back to your days and thank you jen we'll just join you in the green room for five ten minutes and have a quick chat you got but, it um, thank you yeah. very much we'll just end the stream there and i'll start it takes we'll